Oh. He cannot fly more than about 10 feet high or about 10 feet far on most days. He doesn't see himself as a bird. <laughs> He's trying to show me that he is a big, strong male. I'm Ashley with the American Eagle Foundation, and this is Poe's story for Geopeaks. The American Eagle Foundation is a nonprofit organization located in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we are a sanctuary for rescued and rehabilitated birds of prey. You're strange. Ash loves hanging on and uh, hanging out in this room. We have about 75 non-releasable birds that are permanent residents. I feel lucky and very fortunate um, to have a very special bond with Poe. He likes to stand on shoes. Come on, Poe, let's go home. Poe was rescued in North Carolina with a wing injury, which leaves him with partial flight capability. He can't soar or travel for miles, which leaves Poe unable to survive in the wild on his own. We have no idea how old Poe is. He was rescued as a full-grown adult. Once they are full-grown adults, there's no telling how old they are. What are you doing? He was rescued in 2009. In the wild, they can live to be about 15 years old on average, but in human care, up to 45 years. He is very energetic. He's very chatty. Sometimes there are wild corvids that will fly by and we'll have a conversation with them and make all sorts of calls. They eat meat, but they will also eat a lot of produce. He loves really anything but apple. Absolutely hates apple. There is a case study of some corvids actually getting some type of nut that is really hard for them to crack open. And what they do is drop them in the intersection, wait for the cars to drive over them. And then when the red light hits and the cars stop driving by, they fly down and get the nuts that were cracked open by the cars. Our one stop enrichment shop. <laughs> he loves to do activities and interact with his human caretakers all the puzzle feeders that he gets that are originally meant for canines. We don't do the same thing every day so that he gets lots of enrichment and he's really using his brain to think. Ravens and all corvids kind of have neophobia. They can be afraid of new things so when I give him a, a new toy he can sometimes be afraid of it but if I'll go up to it and touch it first and kind of show him it's okay he trusts me and then he'll follow me and play with the toy. That didn't happen right away. I had to invest time into our relationship so seeing those moments for the very first time was absolutely great. Seeing that relationship and the hard work pay off. I've tried to pay super close attention to his calls. One of the calls sounded just a little bit different that he gives me versus other people. He definitely shows me the flirty displays too. He'll get low to the ground, open his wings and uh, make certain calls to be a little flirty every time I walk around him. He'll do it at my feet. <laughs> This is Poe's room. He's got plenty of perching here, various sizes and textures um, to keep his feet healthy, um, to mimic the wild where he'd be standing on different um, types of tree branches or rocks or substrate. If he's feeling full, he's got hiding places in his room so that he can hide it and find that food later for a late night snack. He weighs about 1,000 grams. We're making sure they stay in that healthy weight range. Obesity can be a huge problem in birds. One of Poe's training sessions and activities that he loves to participate in is painting. Oh, paint again. <laughs> it is totally voluntary on his part. He has the choice to walk away at any uh, point, but he loves to participate. We use non-toxic paint just in case. I will job. point to the paintbrush, say paint Poe to cue him to paint, and he'll grab it with his beak and just give it a little shake while another handler um, is holding the canvas up on the other side. It's very abstract. I like to call it um, Picasso or Potastrophe every time he makes a painting. He goes outside almost every day unless it's really bad weather that it's not safe for him to go out. We won't put him out in any lightning or thunderstorms or any high winds because he can't fly and can't control if he gets picked up by the wind. Poe absolutely loves the snow. It is his favorite. I got to work shoveling some snow into some wheelbarrows and it actually took me two wheelbarrows full of snow. Dumped them into Poe's pen. Poe started off with some digging and then he started to have a real blast doing what ravens do best and rolling in the snow. Wild corvids are actually very playful animals and they are known to roll around in the snow and even slide down rooftops.
going through so much effort, giving them a second chance at life. It's really great. And we are able to educate the public on how great they are, why they're important to our environment. Thank you.